Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let us now understand how do we find inverse of a radical function, a transformed square root function in this case, write its domain range and how do we sketch it. Let's enjoy this journey of learning. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a very important radical function, which is f of x equals to square root of minus 2x plus 6 plus 1. Now, this test question is kind of difficult as we have seen 90% students getting it wrong. Let's try to understand what kind of mistakes they have been making and how can we get it absolutely right. Well, in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Now, this question has three different parts. A. Find inverse of the function. B. Write its domain and range of the inverse function. C is graph the function and its inverse. So let's try to see how do we find inverse of the function. Now one of the major mistakes is that the inverse should be restricted in the domain. And how should this be done? is what we need to understand. So let me begin by understanding the problem in the best possible way. So when you are given a function y f of x equals to minus 2x plus 6 plus 1, instead of finding inverse directly, we should analyze this function and find its domain and range. Now, purposely in the problem, that has not been accounted for, but that is a must. And it really helps. Now, as far as the domain is concerned, within the radical sign, this minus 2x plus 6 should be greater than or equal to 0. We can solve this, right? We can say 6 is greater than or equal to minus 2x or it becomes plus 2x when we take it on the other side. Dividing by 2, we get 3 is greater than or equal to x. So that gives you the domain of this function, right? So domain is x belongs to real numbers, where x is less than or equal to 3. So I hope that is clear, right? As far as the range is concerned, we see that the minimum value is 1. So we can write y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 1. Perfect. So we have domain range. So clearly, here we can say that this function can be sketched kind of like this, where the point which we are talking about is 3, 1, right? So that is how the function f of x will look like. Now, when we are trying to find the inverse of this function, the domain and range will swap. Correct? So let's move on and now answer the question. So part A is inverse of the function. So we are given the function f of x, which is equal to square root of minus 2x plus 6 plus 1. Now, when you find the inverse, you swap x and y. So, you can write this as x equals to square root of minus 2y plus 6 plus 1. The idea is now to isolate y. So, we get x minus 1 equals to square root of minus 2y plus 6. Square both sides, 
get x minus 1 whole squared equals to minus 2y plus 6. And bringing y to the other side, we can write down 2y equals to, now x minus 1 whole square, I'm bringing on this side, becomes x minus 1 whole square, and we already have plus 6 here. Dividing by 2, we get y equals to minus half x minus 1 whole square plus 3. So, what we notice here is that it's a parabola. The domain of this should be restricted. Restricted to what? Well, if you go back and see that the domain range, domain of the function was less than or equal to 3. So that becomes the range. So range will become less than or equal to 3 and the domain will be greater than or equal to 1. You get the whole idea. So we should write here that x is greater than or equal to 1. Makes sense. So that is kind of important to understand and minus means that this graph will be kind of like this, right? Where the point which we are looking at is that if x is 1, we know this point y is 3. So that is how this graph is and that becomes the inverse function. So inverse of this function can be written as minus half x minus 1 whole square plus 3 where x is greater than or equal to 1. So you have to write this. Otherwise, you are thinking it is a full parabola whose domain is not restricted. That would be wrong, correct? So I think we got part A which is find the inverse of the function and that is the inverse minus half x minus 1 whole square plus 3 where x is greater than or equal to 1. So it's the right side of the parabola. However, the parabola is opening downwards. So now let's move on and write down the domain of this inverse function. So once again, we have the inverse function which is minus half x minus 1 whole square plus 3. So for this function, the domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than or equal to 1 and the range is y belongs to real numbers where y is less than or equal to 3. Perfect. So that is uh, the answer for part b which is considers domain range of this particular function. So we have both the functions now. We can sketch the graph of the function. So I hope so far everything is absolutely clear. Well, in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are right there on the top. Getting admission to the best universities Sometimes with scholarship also. Perfect. So now let's move on and try to see how do we sketch the graph of these functions. So we have the function f of x, right, which is minus 2 x plus 3 plus 1. So the function f of x, you can also write this as within bracket take minus 2 common, this is a good practice, and we have x minus 3 dividing by minus 2, right, plus 1. So this graph, if I put x equals to 3, in that case the value is 1, correct? And if I put x equals to 1, for example, in that case what do we get? So one value we have is x equals to 3, we have y value of 1, correct? So this part is 0. Second point of interest is if I put x equals to 1 in that case, because x has to be less than equal to 3, correct? If I put x equals to, let's say now, 1, y, 
So what do we get? If I put x equals to 1, I get 1 minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 minus 2 is plus 4, square root is 2, 2 plus 1, 3, right? So we get a point which is 1, 3. So that gives us a graph which we can sketch kind of like this. So that is my sketch for f of x, clear? Now, the inverse function f inverse x, for that we will swap the points, right? This becomes 1, 3, this becomes 3, 1. So both these points are there. So this is for f inverse x as a parabola. So we know it is like a quadratic function. So you see, since it is a parabola, the graph of this function will actually be kind of like this, right? Do you see that? Let me uh, redraw it. This is not a very accurate graph. So kind of like, so these two points are common. You get the whole idea. So that is the inverse of this particular function. Perfect. So that is how you're going to sketch the graph. These two points work for both. So I hope it is making sense, right? So that is how we have to answer this question. Where, as you can see, we have done all the three parts, the function square root, we found its inverse, wrote its domain range, and then also got the domain range of the inverse function, and also sketched the graph of the function. Is that clear to you, right? So, with this, we'll end the video. In the playlist, we have taken many other questions, which are from previous test papers, and I hope the solution will help you. Thanks for your time and all the best.